Hi, my name is Devdat Patnaik. Today we will go on a journey to discover the history of mythology. In today's episode, we will focus on Vishnu. Vishnu is the preserver of the world. And when we visualize him in poster art, we see him lying on a hooded serpent, Adi Anantashesh, on the ocean of milk. He's resting comfortably. This image of Narayana is enshrined in many temples like the Padmanabha Swami temple in Kerala. But when did this image appear for the first time? And this is interesting. The oldest images of Vishnu don't show him lying down on a serpent. They show him standing up, holding weapons in his hands, so the Chaturbhuj images. The oldest image shows him with two arms holding a wheel, then gradually two arms holding a wheel and a plow or a mace. Gradually the four arms appear. Then in Kashmir, we find Chaturmukha images, four heads, one of a lion, one of a boar. So those are the early images of Vishnu. In the Jain tradition, we find Parshanath sitting with a hooded serpent behind him. In the Buddhist tradition, we have images of Buddha with the hooded serpent behind him. In the Buddhist tradition, we have images of the Buddha lying down. Now, all these images are found before the Gupta period in the Kushan art. But around the Gupta period, so roughly around 5th century, which is about 1500 years ago, in Deoghar, that is North India, we find the first image of Vishnu lying on a serpent with Lakshmi at his feet, Brahma Abhavan, reclining comfortably what we call Anantashayan. So the first image we get 1500 years ago. And then this image becomes very popular. It is even found in Southeast Asia in the 7th century. And what is interesting is in the Deoghar image, the lotus of Brahma does not rise from the navel of Vishnu, but you find this in the Southeast Asian image in Cambodia. Then we find the image of Vishnu lying on a serpent in many temples. You find this in the Pallava art, in the Chola's art, so in the southern part of India. And gradually, of course, in the poster art. And the image evolves, so you have, instead of Lakshmi only, you have Shri Devi and Bhu Devi. So two goddesses at his feet, you find many gods around him. So when you see the oldest image of Vishnu lying on a serpent, you do find Brahma on top of him, Shiva on top of him. But by the time the grand images of South India emerge, for example, in Sri Rangam, in the Kaveri Delta, all these images of Ranganatha Swami lying down, he's now in the center of the universe and the whole world watching him resting on the serpent atop the ocean of milk. <laughs>